What if I told you that your retirement just got a $2,300 boost? That's right, seniors across Canada are about to see a significant increase in their old age security payments. But what does this mean for you or your loved ones? Stay tuned, because in the next few minutes, I'm going to break down everything you need to know about this game-changing update to OAS. Hey there, fellow Canadians. Welcome back to Canada Benefit Hub. I'm your host, Daniel, and today we're diving into some incredible news that's going to make a real difference in the lives of our seniors. So grab a cup of coffee, get comfortable, and let's explore this major development in Canada's social security system. Let's start with the basics. The Old Age Security Program, or OAS, is a cornerstone of Canada's retirement income system. It provides a monthly payment to seniors aged 65 and older who meet certain residency requirements. Now, here's the exciting part. The government has just announced a substantial increase to OS payments, amounting to about $2,300 per year for eligible seniors. This isn't just a small adjustment. It's a significant boost that could make a real difference in the lives of many Canadian seniors. But before we dive into the details, let's take a moment to consider why this increase is so important. Imagine you're living on a fixed income, carefully budgeting every dollar to make ends meet. Suddenly, you're told that you'll be receiving an extra $2,300 a year. That's money that could go towards better groceries, home repairs, or even a small vacation to visit family. It's not just about the money, it's about the quality of life improvement this represents for our senior population. Now, let's break down what this increase means in practical terms. The $2,300 annual increase breaks down to about $191 per month. That might not sound like a fortune, but when you're living on a fixed income, every dollar counts. Let's put this into perspective. $191 could cover a week's worth of groceries for many seniors. It could pay for several tanks of gas, making it easier to stay mobile and independent. It might cover a month's worth of utility bills. For some, it could mean the difference between being able to afford necessary medications or having to make difficult choices. But here's something important to remember. This increase isn't just a one-time thing. It's an adjustment to the base amount of OS which means seniors will continue to receive this higher amount month after month, year after year. Now you might be wondering, Daniel, this sounds great, but who exactly is eligible for this increase? Well, I'm glad you asked. Eligibility for the OS increase. The good news is that this increase applies to all seniors who are eligible for OS, but let's refresh our memory on who qualifies for OS in the first place. You must be 65 years of age or older, you need to be a Canadian citizen or a legal resident at the time your OS application is approved. You must have resided in Canada for at least 10 years since turning 18. It's worth noting that if you've lived in Canada for 40 years or more after turning 18, you qualify for the full OS pension. If you've lived here for less time, you might receive a partial pension. But here's something really important to understand. This increase applies to both the full and partial OAS pensions. So even if you're receiving a partial pension, you'll still see an increase proportional to your current benefits. Now, I can almost hear some of you thinking, that's great for those who are already 65, but what about those of us who are approaching retirement age? Impact on future retirees. If you're nearing retirement, this increase is good news for you too. The higher OAS amount will be the new baseline moving forward. This means that when you become eligible for OAS, you'll start receiving payments at this new, higher rate. But there's more to consider here. If you're planning your retirement, this increase might affect your calculations. Here are a few things to think about. How does this extra income affect your overall retirement plan? Will it allow you to retire earlier than you originally planned? Could it mean you need to save less in your personal retirement accounts? These are all important questions to consider and they might be worth discussing with a financial advisor who can help you adjust your retirement strategy accordingly. But let's not forget about those who are already receiving OS. You might be wondering, do I need to do anything to get this increase? How to receive the increase? Here's some more good news. If you're already receiving OS, you don't need to do anything to get this increase. It will be automatically applied to your payments. You should see the increase reflected in your next OS deposit. 
However, it's always a good idea to keep an eye on your bank statements to ensure you're receiving the correct amount. If you don't see an increase in your next payment, or if the increase seems incorrect, don't hesitate to contact Service Canada for clarification. For those who are approaching 65 and haven't applied for OAS yet, this is a great reminder to get your application in. You can apply up to 11 months before your 65th birthday to ensure you start receiving your payments as soon as you're eligible. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking. This all sounds too good to be true. What's the catch? Addressing concerns and misconceptions. It's natural to be skeptical when we hear about increases to government benefits. So let's address some common concerns and misconceptions. First, this increase is not a temporary measure. It's a permanent adjustment to the OS program. This means you can count on this higher amount for the long term. Second, this increase does not affect your eligibility for other benefits. If you're receiving the Guaranteed Income Supplement, GS, or other income-tested benefits, this OAS increase should not impact your eligibility for those programs. Third, some people worry that an increase like this might lead to higher taxes. While it's true that OAS is considered taxable income, for many seniors, this increase won't push them into a higher tax bracket. However, it's always a good idea to consult with a tax professional about your specific situation. Lastly, there's no need to worry about this increase affecting the long-term sustainability of the OS program. The government has factored this increase into their long-term financial projections. Now that we've cleared up some potential concerns, let's talk about what this increase means for the broader Canadian economy. Economic impact of the OS increase. This OAS increase isn't just good news for seniors, it's potentially good news for the entire Canadian economy. Here's why. When seniors have more money to spend, that money flows back into the economy. They might spend more at local businesses, hire services they couldn't previously afford, or even do some traveling within Canada. All of this stimulates economic activity. Moreover, many seniors provide financial support to their families, whether it's helping grandchildren with education costs or assisting adult children with housing expenses. This increase could enhance their ability to provide this support, indirectly benefiting younger generations as well. From a broader perspective, this increase in OAS could also reduce the financial strain on other social services. When seniors are more financially secure, they're less likely to require additional support from other government programs. But let's bring this back to a personal level. How can seniors make the most of this increase? Making the most of the OS increase. If you're a senior receiving this increase, or if you're helping a senior family member manage their finances, here are some ideas for making the most of this extra income. Review your budget. This is a great opportunity to reassess your monthly budget. Could this extra money help you afford something you've been putting off, like dental work or home repairs? Boost your emergency fund. If you don't already have one, consider using some of this increase to start an emergency fund. Having a financial cushion can provide peace of mind. Invest in your health. Could this extra money go towards a gym membership, better quality food or health services not covered by your current plan? Treat yourself. While it's important to be financially responsible, it's also okay to use some of this money for enjoyment. Maybe it's a hobby you've wanted to pursue or a short vacation you've been dreaming about. Give back. If you're in a position to do so, you might consider using some of this increase for charitable donations. This can be personally fulfilling and may also provide tax benefits. Remember, everyone's financial situation is unique. What works best for one person might not be the right choice for another. It's always a good idea to consult with a financial advisor for personalized advice. Now, let's take a moment to consider the bigger picture. What does this increase tell us about the value we place on our seniors? Reflecting on the value of seniors in Canadian society, this substantial increase to OS payments is more than just a policy change. It's a statement about how we, as a society, value our seniors. It's a recognition of the contributions they've made throughout their lives and continue to make. Our seniors are the keepers of our history, the foundations of our families, and often the most active volunteers in our communities. They've worked hard, paid taxes, raised families, and helped build the Canada we know today. 
This OAS increase is one way of saying thank you and ensuring they can live their retirement years with dignity and comfort. But it's also a reminder that we all have a role to play in supporting our senior population. While government programs like OAS are crucial, they're just one piece of the puzzle. As individuals, we can check in regularly with the seniors in our lives, offer help with tasks that might have become difficult, include them in our social activities, advocate for senior-friendly policies in our communities. By doing so, we're not just supporting our current seniors, we're setting the stage for how we want to be treated when we reach our golden years. Looking to the future, as we wrap up our discussion on this significant OAS increase, it's worth taking a moment to look ahead. What does this change signal for the future of retirement in Canada? First, it shows that our government is responsive to the changing needs of our aging population. As life expectancy increases and the cost of living rises, it's crucial that our social security systems adapt. Second, it sets a precedent for future adjustments. While we can't predict exactly what will happen, this increase suggests that the government is willing to make substantial changes to keep pace with economic realities. Lastly, it underscores the importance of staying informed about changes to government benefits. Whether you're a senior yourself, approaching retirement age, or have senior family members, keeping up to date on these changes can have a significant impact on financial planning and quality of life. As we move forward, it's important to remember that programs like OAS are not set in stone. They evolve over time, and as citizens, we have the power to influence these changes through our votes and our voices. Stay engaged, stay informed, and don't hesitate to advocate for the support that seniors in our society need and deserve. And there you have it, folks. We've covered a lot of ground today, from breaking down the numbers of this OS increase to exploring its broader implications for Canadian society. I hope this information has been helpful and that it's given you a clearer picture of what this change means for you or the seniors in your life. Remember, at Canada Benefit Hub, our mission is to keep you informed about the benefits and programs available to Canadians. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more updates on Canadian benefits and social programs. Do you have questions about this OAS increase or other government benefits? Leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to address them in future videos. Thank you for watching, and remember, stay informed, stay engaged, and keep supporting each other. This is Daniel from Canada Benefit Hub, signing off. Until next time, take care. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay up to date on all things related to Canadian benefits, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. And if you know someone who might benefit from this information, please share this video with them. Together, we can ensure that all Canadians are aware of the benefits they're entitled to. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.